we'll talk about our women's football now. Cecilia, we're expecting um, Sophia Omidigi. Yeah, she'll be talking to us this morning, you know, about career, mm. club-wise and everything. She was actually at Euros, you know, yesterday watching Portugal oh. and Wales. And I don't know who she was actually rooting for, but she'll be telling us more about her career, you know, why she wants to really represent Nigeria at the under 20 level you know check the way fifa has actually rated mm. nigeria mm. you know we've been to the finals twice cool. we've been to every semi finals edition. twice we've participated in every edition and all that and there's always been this progression yeah. and you know we've had some good girls actually represent That's right. representing and us. she's a good prospect she's cecilia definitely. she's standing by she's in amsterdam okay good morning sophia good morning how are you today yeah i'm good i'm super thank you for joining us now tell us i mean you want to represent Nigeria competitively. I remember you actually called up to the camp. You know, was it last year for a qualifiers? Tell us about that. You know, it was a dream come true, you know. Um, having that chance and that opportunity come to light was um, more than I could even imagine. You know, I've been, this has been a dream of mine since I was a little girl. And for it to actually come up as soon and as quickly as it did, it was just amazing. Wow, I like the way you described it, Sophia. You said it was a dream come true. Tell me, how important is it for you and your career to feature for Nigeria? Well, you know, um, I guess I can't start off um, but saying that I would like to thank the NFF and its technical committee for showing that um, they are serious about um, the word technical because while I'm not um, tall, I'm not big, you know, um, I was in Las Vegas, Nevada, where it's very different from here in Europe. Europe, we're solely based on using the technique of um, having a good technique. That's what um, Dutch football is known for. So that word technical, um, technical game, technical aspect is quite important to me. And um, from Mr. Chris Green to Mr. Amit Fresh to even Mr. Lagandu, all of the members of the technical committee not to mention coach Dan Letty Nassidy, who watched me in Las Vegas. He said to me, um, you know, you're a young girl and Nigeria needs you. So that made me proud because that meant that what I had been working for all my life to play for Nigeria was coming true and it was coming to life. But in terms of getting an actual call up to the under 20 national team, it was a huge dream come true because mm -hmm. in the States, I don't know if you guys know, but I was playing for the United States Olympic Development Team. Otherwise, they're known as ODP, which is like the feeder team for the national team. So when I told my friends and family that I wanted to use my talent for the Nigerian national team, some of them weren't really, they weren't really proud of my decision in going to play for the Nigerian national team. You know, they said I was crazy and um, <laughs> they said I shouldn't go there. Some even said that I should stay with the U.S. since I've already with the United States Olympic Development Program. And others, you know, they just said that they know that this program, it produces national team players. So they said, you're already in to win. But, you know, I love the United States, but my heart truly lies with Nigeria. So that's all I've always wanted to represent. I mean, I hold both the U.S., the United States, and Nigerian <laughs> passports. So, but this one, this one, I hold near and dear to my heart because it's not only my father's country. It's not only my grandfather's country, but, and it's not even, it's not only my great grandfather's country, but that makes it my country. So when the call came, I was just so elated and so excited. But you know, it wasn't any different to me because I've been going back to Lagos since I was a baby. So I just wanted to be there, you know. But I would only, I would say that the only downfall in my four months of being there and at camp was that. I didn't play a single minute, you know, and for me, of a player of my caliber, for me not to play a single minute, it just crushed me because I not only left my club, I left my school, which is extremely important to me, and I even left my family. I don't know if you guys know, but if you have to leave your family, it's very hard, and to be out there for four months and not play a single match during qualifications, it was just unspeakable. Yeah. I imagine that's been very uh, disappointing for you, uh, Sophia. Yeah. But you've been quoted as saying that um, you don't think you have serious doubts about ever playing for Nigeria's under-20 uh, 20 side. And why do you say so? Um, I, don't, like, I don't doubt my abilities, you know. 
I, I know what I, I I know what I can bring to the table. You know, I'm I'm technical. I'm fast. I have coaches who tell me time and time again that you're a great player. So having that moment and that happened to me, it was just like at the time of when all of that came to be, it was like I wanted to stop playing. You know, I started doubting my abilities as a player, and it just meant like crushing to me. You know. Yeah. Why do you Why do you actually doubt? that the national team selectors will not give you a chance to play for Nigeria? Well, the main reason why I think they wouldn't give me a chance would be because I'm not a, a tall player, you know, I'm not big in size. I don't do all that gra gra, you know. <laughs> you don't, you know, not, soccer's not always about um, the physicality of the game, you know. I think it's more about the technical aspect of the game, you know. It's how much passion you put into playing. And when I went there, I gave it my all, you know. And honestly, I don't feel like I was given a fair chance because of my size in the first place. But, you know, I, I can't you, really... Sophie, hold on a bit. Were you told that because of your size or that's what you feel? Is it a feeling from no. you or you were actually told that? Well, I have I've read on numerous articles that I wasn't able to cope, you know. Honestly, what was there really to cope with? Because, like, I wasn't even given a chance to play. Maybe five minutes, if that, in a friendly. Mm. Okay, so... Okay, Sophie, uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. You know what I love about you, your passion. It will guide you. And again, you have the Nigerian flag right behind you. Please serve your fatherland don't, with don't. love. Strength and faith. Thank never, you so never much. Never give up. No. Yeah, thank you so much so for speaking to us on the show. Thank you so much. All right. So that's mm. it. Ah, interesting. Right. It is interesting. I mean, that's that, that's a young young girl there she with champion at the beast uh, to yeah. play for Nigeria. Mm. And she hasn't had the opportunity to do it yet uh, in, a, in an official um, game. Uh, the Under-20 World Cup is in November. Yeah. Uh, I think she still has a... Plan the time, yeah. plan the time to prove herself yeah. um, um, to the coach and uh, coach P Peter Dedevol, yeah. and um, because uh, it's, she, he's actually <laughs> been quoted as saying to that um, that he's not sure of her, her ability to actually cope with the physical side of the game. I mean, yeah. she's, just give her a chance and, and see. she has to yeah, use that word. Grab, grab, <laughs> grab, grab, grab. Football is played right I mean, here. The game great. is in the brain. It's mm. brain. Yeah, so, definitely. And it's I, women's I, football. I love her enthusiasm. Yeah, I love her passion. She, 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 she will. will. When she eventually wears that green and white jersey for this yeah. country. See, she says the Nigerian passport is right here. <laughs> right yeah. She's not trying to wear the United States, so <laughs> she might need it someday. <laughs> but the Nigerian passport is so hard. I mean, well, they, I mean uh, something I read you know, about Hunt, yeah. dot com and all that, when they were saying that, they even recognized I was like, okay. I mean, talking about Courtney DK, who yes. featured for the Super Four Cons, mm. then talked about her, you know, she's another American bomb prospect that yeah. can also <laughs> play for the Super Four Cons. They are really young. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah, you really, have to emphasize that. You know, Austin, I have to right? say that. Yes. Really young. Yes. Yes. You will not chance. question. Yeah. We will not That's go why. to South Africa and they said go and test all of them again. That's why I say uh -huh. she's got plenty of time to actually prove herself yeah. uh, for uh, Nigeria. Yeah. And uh, she actually had a very prolific, you know, high school career. Yeah. You know, she's got 38 goals in the final, wow. in her final year in high school. And so she knows where the back of the net is. Definitely. All she needs is a, is a chance to actually mm -hmm. uh, play for the country and prove uh, what she has. Um, she's in PSV now, right? Yeah, PSV yeah? I mean.